Hey, Bleed Big Blue. It's up the podcast. Just wanted to come talk to you guys. I know it's that time of the week. And we're going to start previewing uh, the Monday Night Football game. Giants versus San Francisco 49ers. And, uh, you know, Giants coming off a bye week. We've had our uh, little uh, break of our losing. But now we're going back to the games. And it's uh, definitely an intriguing game. On both ways. Do we want to win? To make it to where, uh, you know, we, we start looking better? Or do we want to lose so we can, you know, secure the number one pick? Uh, you know, that's uh, debatable. Without a doubt. But we're going to go into this week and I definitely have some questions for some players. And I want to see something. So, let's get right into it. Five point preview. Number one. Odell is saying the Giants have a possibility of rolling off eight straight wins, getting to nine and seven, and making the playoffs. Which, he he tears me apart with that answer because I love that he's answering like that. But is it... Would that be the best thing for this team? Or let's let's say they streak and miss it by a game and don't even get in the playoffs. Then what? We're in the middle of the draft. And this team's not getting helped like it would have if they were at the top of the draft. But I would love to see the, this team to show that kind of heart. Odell says he's going to do everything possible to make this happen. So I'm gonna. I'm curious what Odell's uh, second half of his season is gonna look like. And the problem with Odell is uh, you need Eli to step it up the second half of the season as well. And I don't even know if he has that in him anymore. But we're gonna get into that. But like you said, Odell wants the streak to happen. Let's see it happen, Odell. Uh, I'm definitely curious uh, what's going to happen Monday night. Number two, how long of a leash is Eli going to have? Now, if you heard my videos before, I really thought Eli would be benched by this by this game. I thought he would, uh, Loretta would literally be starting uh, Monday night. Now, the possibility of that is, is, uh, Shermer doesn't want to look like they're already quitting on the season. And the other thing is Loletto getting arrested and going his first game ever being on that Monday night. Maybe they're trying to take him baby steps. Now, Shermer has not committed to Eli past this game. So he, know, he knows what's going on. He, I think he's uh, just getting us ready. If Eli had playing like he's been playing, I really don't think Eli's, you know, starting beyond this game. But if that's the case, is Shermer gonna wait till you know the game end being done to uh, pull Eli, or if we get down a half, or Eli's thrown a couple interceptions, or he hasn't thrown. You know, more than, you know, 100 yards. Are you going to you bench him? When he's not, you know, throwing anybody but the running back. That's the questions that, you know, Sherman's going to have to ask of himself. And I'm just curious how, much, how long that leash is going to be. Is it going to be quick? Or are you going to give you either, you know, a little respect and just be like, hey, finish out the game, but this is your last one. Again, we're going to find out Monday night. Number three. And this is almost a plead to the New York Giants defense. We're playing Nick Mullins, guys. Uh, a rookie quarterback for San Francisco. San Francisco is not necessarily trying to tear it up and trying to win. It's just a bunch of young guys, you know, giving effort. Which is literally all we ask from you guys. But the question is, can we get turnovers and sacks from this defense? If there's any game that's set up for us to get turnovers and actually make plays on defense, 
This is the game. Playing against Nick Mullins. Their number one offensive threat is George Kittle. Because I think the kid's name is Mostar broke his leg after having a good game against the Raiders. And Pierre Garçon hasn't even been practicing. And, you know, other than Marquise Goodwin, you know, toasting us and going over the top, which is totally possible, there's really not a whole lot of offense we have to worry about. Now, I really believe this Giants team can stuff San Francisco and, you know, stuff them up pretty well because they've done it to every team. Here's the deal, though. Can they get turnovers? And who's going to make those plays? Because we're honestly counting on some young guys to do it. You know, like B.J. Hill, Lorenzo Carter, you know, Sean Chandler, Grant Haley, etc. Who's going to step it up? And I want to see who, who's going to be on this team come next year. You got a whole half to prove yourself. Half a season to prove yourself and show what you got. And see what kind of core and foundation we have going into next year. So let's see what we got. Number four. Let's, and the sad part is, this is a big if. If we stop the rookie quarterback and this really no offensive team, can we score? <laughs> can we score to take advantage of that? Or is the defense going to have to score for us? You know, Giants offense, everybody in this league thought you were going to score a whole lot more points than you had this year. I'm waiting for you to do it. This is the time to do it. Offensive line, you've been getting torn apart for pretty much the whole season. Let's see you step it up. I do like the addition of Jamon Brown. I don't know if he's starting this week, but I don't see why not. What are you going to lose by having him start? And honestly, if Jamon Brown works out, that's one less position that uh, we have to go out and really go after coming in uh, this offseason. But that's, you know, the biggest question is can we score? I know Odell wants to score. I know Saquon Barkley's going to do his thing. Uh, Eli, are we going to throw to other people? Are we going to get Evan Ingram in this offense? Are we going to get Sterling Shepard in on this offense on a consistent basis? I would love us to score over 30, at least, against this San Francisco team. And honestly, we should. But just because we should doesn't mean it's going to happen. We know that this season. And number five is really the question I started off with in the very beginning, guys, is... As a fan base, and I'm asking you, and please leave in the comments what you think, because I'm I'm torn apart myself, is what do you want from this game? Do you want the Giants to lose against San Francisco? A team that honestly they're better than. But we you know, we do want that number one pick. And God knows Raiders aren't gonna lose it any or win anytime soon. They're not even trying. And you know, let's say, you know, we rattle off some wins. Do you want this team to start, you know, really going after it? You know, trying to make playoffs. And maybe take that chance of missing out. Obviously, for the best of the franchise, I really think we should lose. But, <laughs> you know, I also want to see effort. And honestly, we should be a San Francisco team that we are really better than. And we're over, we actually overmatched them, which is pretty sad. But that's, you know, that's the way it is. And that's, that's why I'm getting torn apart. And I, that's why I want to hear your comments, guys, because I really don't know what the answer is. As a fan, I am absolutely want the Giants to win every week. And it tears me up when they lose. But I can handle one more losing season season gets it's that uh, foundation that lasts us to being a solid team for years to come. God, we know we know we need that quarterback. You know, whether it's Herbert or whoever they want, we need to get somebody in here. 
But these are questions for another day. This is a five point preview. I appreciate you guys uh, listening. Listen to the podcast. I think we're doing uh, play by play and commentary for the Monday night football game. So, hey, listen to the podcast then as well. So we can uh, all feel this, feel and listen to this game together. I still bleed big blue. Always. Thank <laughs> you.